Introducing the all-new Corolla. Uh, we believe um, the perpetrator siphoned gas from, from three regular vehicles, and we think we lost a couple of bush cutters and a water blaster. Uh, but of course, we, we, the, the building facility and the two buses and a sedan are a total loss. They're just, they're gone. Department of Public Works Director Carl Dominguez is talking about the Jotnia bus depot that was burglarized and then burnt. Jotnia Mayor Ken Joada was on the scene early that morning. He says one of the padlocks were cut open and all of the gas tanks on the vehicles were opened. One of my employees was, uh, you know, pretty much doing his patrol and uh, he, he noticed a great bright light in the middle of the night and you know he found it kind of odd so uh, uh, when he further investigated it he uh, went over there and saw that the bus station was burning. Uh. The mayor says this was between 12:30 and 1 a.m. Saturday morning, the morning that the tropical storm was supposed to hit Guam. In my opinion it was uh, definitely a crime of advantage. They took advantage uh, under the cloak of you know Guam uh, being under readiness, uh, typhoon readiness. Dominguez agrees that the thief or thieves took advantage of the storm. Dominguez says they'll have to completely rebuild the bus depot, but he's pretty confident that they'll have enough buses once the school year starts. Well, coincidentally, uh, just this past week, uh, we got two other buses up and operational with uh, engine changes that, that had sat for several weeks uh, waiting for the engines to arrive. So these two buses that are now roadworthy will sort of replace the two that we've lost. Thankfully, the buses that were destroyed were not one of the newer buses that DPW got about a year ago. Domingo says that they are procuring additional buses, which should be in by the fourth quarter of this year. But in the meantime, he's expecting that three to four more buses, which are waiting for parts, should be repaired and road ready in time for the school year. I'm pleading out to the public if uh, you have any information about this uh, crime against the community, especially your children, uh, please contact 477-HELP and um, uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, bring the people who did this uh, to justice. Both Dominguez and Ada believe it was arson. It's obvious to me there was a break-in and that uh, this, is a, this is an arson situation. I think it's, it's fair to conclude that it was arson.